Hi, welcome to Consultant's Corner. My name is Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner and I am a consultant. And yes, you'll have seen from the title that the content for today is how to be unmotivational. I have a whole thing about motivational speaking and motivational practices. Now, obviously motivation is a good thing and you should get it wherever you can. Whatever works to motivate you is valid. My thing with motivational speaking and events and things is where does it take us? Let me tell you a story as an example. I went to a goal setting event. It was advertised as a uh, lunch and learn, I think is what they called it, some sort of educational title there. And the bulk of the presentation was about how important it is to set goals. At the end of which, the instructional part, if you will, was um, determine what you want to achieve, write that down, and make a plan to keep on track. You see the problem there. I did not need to be motivated to write goals. I didn't need to be told that it was important to write goals because if I didn't think that it was important to write goals, I would not have been at the event in the first place. By virtue of the fact that I showed up at this event and paid some money to be at this event, I've already bought into the idea that writing goals matters. What I was hoping to get was a one hour presentation on very practical ways to write goals. And in fact, to walk out of there with my goals written and an understanding that I had good goals and how to achieve those goals. The direction that was given at the end was so vague, write your goals and put in together a plan of action. There was more words than that, but there was nothing that it told me that I couldn't have figured out on my own. Yes, I have to write goals and put a plan of action in place. If I'm there, it's because I'm looking for guidance on how to do that. Is there a right way and a wrong way? How do I hold myself accountable to myself? How do I know that my goals are realistic? How do I keep on track to them? This is what a lot of motivational uh, presentation feels like to me. By virtue of the fact that I show up, I'm there to be motivated. So I'm kind of low hanging fruit at that point. It is easy to motivate me. The missing piece is often the practicality. Now again, let me be clear. You should get your motivation wherever you can. I am not saying this to bash motivational speaking or motivational literature as a whole. Of course, it serves a purpose. What I want to make sure that you do, however, when you approach this, is that you don't just stop with the motivation, but you also expect something practical. Why does this matter? Why am I even talking about this? It's because we spend a lot of time on learning. We spend a lot of time listening to people. You're watching this video, going to events, reading books, listening to podcasts, so on and so forth. And to really get value out of that, I want you to focus on always connecting the dots. What you hear in one place, how does it connect to something you learned somewhere else? This is a bit of a plug, but it's highly relevant here. My brother has a whole course on Udemy about how to read business books. It's a brand new course, but he goes through how to read these and actually utilize them. Make sure that when you're going from one book to the next, there's actually a progression there. And I love the concept of the course and the course itself. I think it matters because we read so many business books now. How do we know that we're putting that stuff into action and that we're getting something out of it? Whether you keep a journal with everything that you learn from all these different instances and events, whether you actually build everything into a plan as you go along, that's my preferred course of action. Everything that I do that is educational, whether it is a podcast or an event or a book, I'm taking notes all the time. And when I get back to my desk, when I'm wrapping up my day, perhaps I have my calendar out there and I'm not allowed to finish my day until I input my notes against every event, whether it was an educational event or even a one-on-one -on -one event. And that means that there's a follow-up. Those notes are actually action points. They go into my project management system, not into just a note capture. And that's how I know that I turn those into something that I act upon. Learning is about knowledge. Knowledge is about the application of the knowledge that moves us forward in life. Ultimately, it is all about action. So do whatever motivates you, pursue wherever you find inspiration, and always end all of that with an action. That's what's moving you forward in life. And that's also how you can test out the things that you're learning. The more you act, the more you can adapt, the more you're learning from what you're doing. And as I say, the more you're moving forward. So be motivated and don't stop at the feeling of motivation. When you feel motivated, turn that energy into action, take it one step further. So what's your homework for today? Look at where you do get motivation. Is it motivational quotes that you see on Instagram? If those put a smile on your face and get you moving in the morning, Excellent, go back to those and whenever you see one that does put a smile on your face, 
write three words at least that are the action that you can take from that. What does that mean to you? What has it taught you? What is it going to spur you on to do? That's why those motivational messages are there. They're there to spur action. Don't stop at the motivation, use the motivation, turn it into action, turn it into growth. And to close off my unmotivational soapbox for today, let me point you towards my book, Phrases for Business Success. The first, very first line in the introduction of that book is this book is not motivational, which is not to say that it will not motivate you, but its purpose is not to be motivational. That's where a lot of this inspiration has come from. That's what's been on my mind. The link to the book is in the, uh, the description section underneath this video, and I will see you as always at the next video.